Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to configure the AWS command line interface so we can interact with AWS using command line. Now before you uh, can configure the command line in interface you need to install the AWS CLI and I'll leave a link to this in the video notes so you can install AWS CLI. So then we'll uh, you can I'll also leave a link to this one which can covers the configuration basics but we'll any case set something up quickly. So uh, before we start, we'll just check whether we have AWS CLI installed. So you just type AWS minus minus version on git bash. So and when I do that, it tells me the versions that I've already got installed. And now I need to uh, configure. So I to configure my CLI, let's say I want to look at all the S3 buckets. So the command is AWS s3 ls so there would be similar commands which you need to find out uh, but in case it says it uh, we don't have the credentials configured so we'll configure the credentials so we can execute and see all our s3 buckets so we'll quickly go here and i'm already in my im console and i'll do an add user and i'll uh, so those of you you who have never really uh, uh created a user you need to once you're logged into aws you need to go into services and then you go into IM and then on the left hand side you click users and you can add a user so in this case we'll just call this one a demo user and uh, we'll uh, give it so we need the uh, programmatic access it says so we'll create that so we'll say next permissions and you can see here that I've already got S3 full access so I need to create a group and I can click on create group and it gives me all these policies so I can look up and find whichever policy I want to. So in this case, I'm only concerned about S3. So for example, I want to see all the S3 policies, I type this. So in this case, I'm giving S3 full access, which I've already got configured, I'll cancel this. And I'll just use S3 full access. So, and then I'll click on tags. I don't want to tag it for now. So I'll just say next review. And I've got this uh, role, this group tagged on with this policy for demo user. So you, I'll just say create user. And when I say create user, it creates an access key ID and secret access key. So that is what we need to provide here. So now we will say AWS configure, and I'll just hit enter. And I'll just quickly show you something else. So in your uh, local drive, so C, so if you're using Windows, it's in C users, then the username, and then the .AWS, so which is like a hidden folder. So in this folder is where your credentials get stored. So it's asking for access key ID. So to get the access key ID, we will copy it and paste it here. And then I need to put in my secret access key. So that's what it is asking for. So I'll configure that and hit enter. And for the region, you uh, put in the default region name wherever you are working from. I work in uh, Sydney region, so I'll say AP Southeast 2. So you have to remember that the service you're trying to use uh, whichever region you uh, want that service to be in th that is what you need to configure here as well so i'll i'll uh, use ap southeast 2 for now and i will i'll not select a output format name and i'll just hit enter here so it's created this uh, profile for me and if i go into the aws folder now it's already created this config and credentials so it has stored that information there now Please don't bother to use my credentials because I'll go and delete this user and these credentials after I've done this demo video. So just so you know, um, and you don't go wasting your time on this. Um, so now I've already configured it. So now if I go to AWS S3 LS and I'll hit enter, it will list out all my buckets. So these are all the buckets I've created for my own users. And you can, cre and you can uh, definitely go ahead and create the buckets. There are different things you can do here. Um, so in this video, we just wanted to cover how to configure the AWS CLI. And once we've configured it, how do we pass the commands? So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers. Bye.